This is our first uh, blog post of uh, going to see Frank Doroff at uh, Windsor Legoland. And uh, Michael and I, from uh, Michael from uh, RamworldPhotography.com and uh, myself, Neil, uh, from NeilGrahamPhotography.com of uh, going along to see what uh, Frank Dorff has got to say about lighting. Both of us are very interested in lighting, but uh, we I think both of us also need some tips and hints, don't we? Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the, uh, to the coaching tips and, uh, and seeing how to, to, get, to get the best out of the models. So obviously, being a wedding photographer, I want to make sure that I can make my, my bride look wonderful. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's quite strange actually, because I haven't actually done much uh, uh, sort of modelling f photography. I've done a few things with a few friends uh, in terms of pre-wedding uh, photography uh, takes, but how to pose and how to light them better than just using natural light would be uh, very interesting for myself to find out. I know it's a bit uh, it's a bit bumpy out there, but then we are <laughs> on the on the road on the way going there. Country now. lanes towards Windsor. Yeah. yeah. So uh, hopefully uh, after this we might get some sort of gimbal head to uh, <laughs> make it sort of flatten out, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, so, probably not. Yeah, yeah. And uh, in a bid like we normally are, in a, uh, our normal research uh, consists of nothing. So uh, this is all by the seat of our pants. Yeah, we've got now, no yeah. pens and papers. We don't know what Frank Doroff's going to talk about but I'm sure it's going to be uh, absolutely excellent. So uh, what we're going to do then is that uh, we're, ha we're going to the seminar now. We've probably got about a half hour before it starts and uh, if we can record anything from the seminar, which I doubt, uh, we will try to. If not, we'll have a quick uh, summary of when we come out and uh, badly cut the two videos together and uh, whack it out on YouTube for your consumption. Exactly that. I'll be posting a few photos on the on social networks during the seminar, a few sneaky shots. Hope Frank doesn't mind, but yeah, you know, there's sort of a, a few candid just to show what's going on. But I think it's gonna be a fantastic evening. I'm looking forward to everything that's I'm going sure, to be. No, 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 yeah, sorry, yeah, go right. It's just, sorry, again, to navigate as well. Again, there, yeah. there we are. We're all so rehearsed that we're having to check the uh, the way to go on on the hoof. But uh, no, knowing how uh, how bad we are with uh, our social media, Frank Dora will probably find out in about four or five clicks of his mouse. Cause, uh, remove the video. Yeah, remove and, uh... the video and uh, get a shot of us off, off of his blog post and everything else. But uh, no doubt it's going to be interesting and enlightening for both of us and uh, it probably will improve our uh, photography skills no end. Anyway, we're signing off now. And uh, we'll we come back uh, a little bit later on. I don't know how the light is going to be because obviously it'll be about, I assume, probably about 10 p.m. 10 Yeah, it will be, yeah. Just after uh, 10 over, yeah. So we, we might have to do it with the interior light on and make a real hash of it. All right? So we're so, going to a lighting seminar and then the, the post lighting <laughs> seminar video will be poorly lit. <laughs> yeah. So what we've learned. Well, <laughs> yeah. well, we're going to put it to good use and not put any of it into action. <laughs> So, so this uh, is how uh, not to light your post lighting yeah. video. And, and knowing my luck, I've probably been holding the iPhone really badly and I've probably got half my head cut off. But uh, other than that, uh, we, we look forward to it. So uh, we'll catch up later and uh, fill you in on how it goes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, we've just been to the Frank Doroff uh, seminar on, at uh, fashion photography, come uh, model photography, and uh, street photography, and uh, yeah, tailed surprisingly, off by, yeah, yeah, tailed off, tailed off with street photography. The last hour was for street photography, uh, and it was absolutely brilliant, uh, inspiring. I think he said that himself. That uh, if one thing that if we leave from uh, his seminar saying that we've been inspired. Uh, he feels like he's doing his job as a teacher, and I, and I actually do feel inspired. Absolutely. Some of the shots uh, that Michael and I went to a uh, Volkswagen uh, sort of show uh, on Sunday, and I, I, I really didn't get inspired by the shots. It was too crowded, too hot, and stuff like that. Where Frank Doroff there in his uh, actual seminar was showing that. It's not all about the shot properly, most, most important about the subjects and stuff, was actually yeah. filling it 
was something that was actually interesting. Well, I think about. what you're saying about giving it your all, yeah, it uh, comes true. I mean, you, you can imagine if Frank was there yesterday, he would have made himself get inspired. He would say, look, you know, there's got to be shots here. There are amazing vintage cars, and there's rusty, you know, crazy bodywork, and there's body panels lying around. You just get the feeling that, um, as much as I think we're half decent photographers, um, you know, and I don't think we're far away, you know, in terms of technicality, in terms of what the top yeah. pros are. I think we're doing okay, if I do say to myself. The difference is really in terms of how he applies himself yeah. and that inspiration he has. I, I would so. have certainly approached, uh, if, if that VW show was happening tomorrow, I would have approached that show in a completely different way than yeah. what I actually approached beforehand. Absolutely. Some, some of those shots that uh, he had in his uh, street photography uh, seminar part of, uh, of tonight's uh, uh, talk was absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, he happened to have probably uh, a very sad subject of uh, the, the uh, storm Sandy in America, but the way it across the, the, the context of his shots uh, was absolutely brilliant. And, and when perhaps that's something I don't do as a photographer, I actually don't think about my shots enough to actually uh, associate a story with them. And uh, perhaps that's something I need to do as opposed to hitting that delete button in Lightroom because I think it's an absolute Absolutely, picture. yeah, absolutely. I think the thing is as well is that, um, you know, being digital files and, and, and it's so easy just to delete a photo. And I guess, you know, like you say, we are looking for the sharpness of a photo, the composition, you know, if we've cropped something up a bit too much in, in the shot, we've just been it. Yeah, it was actually, that was a uh, lot more yeah, actually, there, there, and, there, uh, there was one shot of that motorcross uh, yeah. Gemini. Well, he intentionally uh, yeah. cropped more than the Yeah, he actually intentionally cropped, yeah. Crop, cropped the head uh, partially off and cropped the wheels partially off. You know what, I, I think I recall, is that a shot that they use on photography tips and tricks on that wall behind uh, RC Concept? I haven't got a clue. It actually, rings a bell, yeah. that shot, but, but it looks. If I'd have done that shot. shot intentionally by actually missing it, I probably would have deleted it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I actually wouldn't, it probably wouldn't have got first, probably, no, no, I'm saying that, it would have probably got first through uh, the first round of editing, but the second round of editing, I yeah. most likely would have ditched yeah. it. I think the biggest takeaway for me today was um, in terms of, I mean, look, I mean, Frank's shots were technically amazing, you know, his Photoshop skills are obviously, um, you know, up there with the best of them. Yeah. Um, but like we're saying about you know keeping you in the shot, keeping you keeping your eye from wandering off shot. You know we all know about rule of thirds and rule of odds and you know all these rules. You know we, we and sometimes we know the break of them is fine as well. But but what Frank does to, to keep your eye in the shot, you know reading from left to right, and um, we all know about again like framing. But but having a bit you know if he is using a bit of negative space, he kind of putting something in the negative space. That, that perhaps shouldn't be there. Yeah. Like that, that one shot with the lady standing at the top of uh, like a fire escape type thing with a large amount of negative space, and in that negative space was some sort of uh, like sort of heat. I don't know what it was, like a exhaust pipe almost yeah. or something. And he said, "Oh, should I clone that out?" And people, some people sort of mumbled, said, "Yeah, yeah." And he said, "No," because you look at it and say, "Why is that there?" Oh, back at the subject. Oh, why is that there? All oh, back at the subject. And it made me think. Actually, you know what? The, the, maybe we need to be more it's radical. The breaking hard the rules. work and the time. That that these professionals put into actually presenting something and mm. working on the road, as you said, said there. Up at four o'clock in the morning, doesn't get to bed until sorry, 10, 11 o'clock at, at night. If he stays uh, awake through dinner, yeah. If he stays awake <laughs> through dinner. Uh, and it just shows you that uh, the actual work they put in is, is immense. And uh, doing it on a part-time basis, like I certainly do, uh, you certainly wouldn't be able to uh, probably get to the heights of his photography skills yeah, and, and delivery. But, oh, yeah, it, it just shows you that sadly that the 5% the, the of work that I put into being a photographer, I'm going to have to step it up and put a lot, lot more into it. And, uh, to, to the dismay of my wife, it's, on, um, on, yeah. Yeah. to the dismay of my wife, it certainly, it certainly showed me that um, as much time as I do put in, it's actually still not enough. Yeah. To shoot a couple of times a week, I need to be shooting. I know you hear it every day from all the pros, you know, shoot, 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 shoot every day. But that—that that is the difference between kind of um, ninety percent and ninety-five percent. Yeah. You know, it's, it's you know when you're learning, you know, that sort of initial learning curve is quite yeah. fast. You know, you you learn your rules and your compositions, and you, you know you learn how to you know shoot a manual. That that's all quite fast. Yeah. But you know, every percent that you learn above beyond that is all about practice, 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 you know, it's yeah. that first 10,000 Yeah, yeah, I, I think, you know, the, the difference between, um, between kind of our level and the next step up is, is, 
you know, a couple of it's million exposures. Yeah, and a lot, lot harder work. Mm. Yeah. But, but it's, uh, yeah, old and perhaps be a bit bolder with my shooting. Sometimes I am perhaps uh, the reserved English bloke who doesn't particularly want to go out of his way and create a sort of hassle, but uh, yeah. sometimes backs being a bit creative with my shooting and uh, get out there and do some more. Certainly the street photography has always interested mm. me, and certainly Jay Mazel yeah. uh, is an absolutely fantastic photographer. Really is the master of that. Yeah, yeah it really, uh, is. really is really good. Uh, well, I, th I think the one thing that, that, I think, that I think everyone in that room was going to take away um, even the full-time pros, I mean, we spoke to one guy who was a wedding photographer and who seemed to be doing very well for himself. But even him, I think that the one thing that we're all going to be taking away from that is just, just inspiration. Yeah. Um, not inspiration in terms of, you know, what to shoot. I mean, yeah, a little bit, but I mean, in terms of effort, you know, applying ourselves, yeah, actually just doing more. The, the, the bloke you mentioned, uh, was he doing 35 weddings a year? Yeah, 35, and so I think he said <laughs> Jewish weddings only as well, yeah, didn't he? Uh, so uh, large, but, large yeah, weddings. Yeah, that is yeah. an amazing amount of work. What why did he attend the front door? Probably for the inspiration, I suppose. Perhaps a bit few more ideas. Well, I guess again. I mean, he's he's obviously. It's not easy to get to get that number of weddings a year. He's obviously got to be good at what he yeah, does to achieve that number good. of weddings. So, I'm assuming really that, that the reason he was there is because he wants to be better. Still, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I guess you know you never stop learning. So. Yeah. Anyway, I think to uh, wrap one of our first episodes up of our uh, shoddy podcast. Uh, vidcast, whatever cast you want to call it, colour cast. Yeah, ca yeah. Color cast. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to get the white balance right with this iPhone. Uh, I sort of sort of say you can uh, contact me uh, on uh, email at neil at neilgrahamphotography.com. Uh, I'm on Twitter, uh, Google Plus as just gneil45, which is sometimes uh, an AKA I, I have. Uh, not that's nothing to do with age or anything. It's just. Uh, only a, a sort of username that I could possibly use. The 45 was just available. Yeah, 45 yeah. happened to be available, and <laughs> the creative thinking of putting G in front of the <laughs> Neil was just amazing. I was overwhelmed by that. Inspired. Inspired, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I've spoken many times about to people about how, uh, how I come across it. Uh, so, Michael, how can people contact you as well? I'm everywhere. But um, you can just Google me, um, Michael Ramel or Ramel, which is R A W M D E W L. I'm at uh, ramelphotography.com. I'm on Google Plus, uh, Michael Ramel, Ramel, whatever. Some people pronounce it differently. Um, and I'm on Facebook. Uh, I'm on Twitter at Ramel, uh, Ramel Photo. Uh, I'm everywhere, so just give me a Google. So again, sorry, you know, like I say, it's a bit you know, hypocritical of us to to attend a lighting seminar and then uh, video our our sort of you know. Uh, well, but Frank thoughts, Doroff uh, did say that light is not expensive, as he did hold up a light bulb. So it's not quite a strobe, are. though, is it? It's not quite it? a strobe, but it, it's probably casting an awful shadow across somebody's face. But uh, no, absolutely brilliant. So uh, hopefully, we're going to try and put some more of these together in the future. I, whether we deal or not is a different matter. But, well, we've got uh, Le Mans coming up next month, so that's we'll, it. Yeah, we'll shoot yeah, that properly. Yeah, we'll shoot yeah. it with a camera and everything. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> proper, asking for a bit yeah, much. We'll, so. we'll, have a, we'll have a camera with us. I don't know whether we do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we well, hope to do something like that. And then later in the year, we've got, uh, I've got a couple of air shows to attend. So I'm going to try and put some uh, audio, at least perhaps audio cast together. I don't know. I think we should start doing podcasts. We should yeah, start recording yeah, a podcast. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see how it goes. But the uh, yeah, the pair of us can be obtained via email very easily. I'll I'll and if you enjoyed it, share it to anybody who's. Uh, of course, you've got to check out Frank Dorhoff as well. Yeah, uh, yeah definitely to, uh, check out Frank Dorhoff. He's obviously at Frank Dorhoff on Twitter and uh, yeah, he's well renowned. If you type in Dorhoff, I'm, I'm sure that you'll find him from there. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely brilliant. More inspirational stuff from us next time, no doubt. Anyway, that's us from us tonight and. Uh, Good night and enjoy uh, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.